I've got the picture in the bottom right corner here and we have been asked to determine the resultant force and the angle using the head to tail method. Now I really enjoy this head to tail method because all we need to do is just use a ruler and a protractor. So we need to have our starting position. So I'm going to start over here. Now I need to look at these numbers, 7 newtons, 10 newtons and 6 newtons. So a scale of 1 to 1 will be sufficient. So I'm going to say scale up at the top here is going to be 1 centimeter will represent 1 newton. You need to show that to the teacher. Next, you need to choose a force, either the 10, the 7 or the 6. It doesn't matter which one you start with. I'm going to start with the 10. So the 10 newton needs to be 10 centimeters long at an angle of 30 degrees. So I've gone ahead and I've placed my protractor on the little dot that I made and now I'm going to measure 30 degrees from the left hand side. So if I do that I will end up with a dot or 30 degrees would be somewhere over there. I then take my protractor away and then I need to draw a line connecting those two dots but it must be a 10 centimeter line. And so there I've connected my ruler and so I'm going to do a 10 centimeter line. And so it will look something like that. You can see the arrowhead that I've drawn. The next one that I'm going to draw is the 7 Newton. So remember that I need to start at the place where I, I have just finished. So this area here becomes my new starting position. So there I have placed my protractor on the position where we just finished. And now look at how this 20 degree is measured. It's measured at 20 degrees relative to the right hand side like that. So I'm not going to look on this side, but rather I'm going to go up on this side. And so that's going to be 20 degrees. Then what I'll need to do is take my ruler and connect those two points using a 7 centimeter line. There I've positioned my ruler and now I'll do 7 centimeters. So you can see how that line has been drawn. And then the last one that we need to do, because we've done the 7 and we've done the 10, now we just need to do the 6. So this area here becomes the new starting position. So I have flipped my protractor over because I see that the 40 degrees is measured downwards like that. So I'm going to measure 40 degrees on the right hand side. And so that's going to take us over there. Now I need the ruler and then I can draw a six centimeter line. There we go. Now that I have drawn all of the lines, in order to determine the result, I need to go all the way back to the beginning, this point over here, and I'm going to need to connect a line going from that point to the very end, which is where we just finished off over here. And if you had to connect that, you get an answer of around about, I would say that's around four and a half centimeters. So if you're getting somewhere around there, that would be good. I would say anything between 4.1 maybe and 4.6, that should be okay. Because of course, when you're doing a construction, it won't be perfect. So I'm going to say that the answer is, I'm going to go with, well, because I know the correct answer based on mathematical calculation, I'm going to put the answer as 4.3 centimeters. That is what it's supposed to be, very close to that. So because it's 4.3 centimeters and our ratio is 1 to 1, we can say that the answer is 4.3 newtons. But now, guys, they would like the resultant force and they also want the angle. Now, if I look carefully at that red line, I can see that the angle is probably going to come out somewhere over here, which is around 57 degrees. However, I know that the correct answer should be around 55 degrees. That is because I've done the mathematical version. And so the 57 I'm obviously getting because it's not perfect. So if you had to get 57 in a test, you would probably get all your marks. So you should try and aim for 4.3 newtons at an angle of 55 degrees, and that's going to be north of east. 
The reason I say north of east is that we are measuring that angle relative to this line over here. And so this is the west line, because you can see that it's going towards, I mean the east line, sorry. And we are measuring towards the top of that. So we're measuring north of that. So we'll say 4.3 newtons at 55 degrees north of east.